Hey, what's up guys? Adrian Lobo. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about dime stops. Dime stops are awesome. Dime stops come from the slang word stopping on a dime, meaning being able to stop instantly in between your dance movements. And it sounds easy, but rarely do people actually have the clean, powerful, true technique of dime stopping. And so, Dime stopping is basically your ability to stop in mid-motion and it's important because having the ability to stop in mid-motion helps you have better technique. Dime stops will improve your technique and improve your control, your body control and it can be applied to almost every dance style, almost every concept, almost every move. Dime stops can be applied to it and it, looks, it makes everything look that much cleaner. For example, let's say we're going to do a tutting style and uh, I'm going to do it without the dime stops. Okay? So if I want to do a tutting without a uh, dime stop, I'll go boom, 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 boom. But with dime stop, it would go boom, 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 boom. Notice how I stop in between everything. Without it, boom, 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 boom. With it, boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's try something else. Let's try uh, like just doing angles without dime stops, and then dance angles with dime stops. So, for example, we would go boom, 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 boom. Dime stop, boom, 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 boom. Um, another example. It would go uh, ba 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 without dive stops. Ba 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 ba. Almost kind of like dive stopping, but with a little more control and a little more dive stop technique, it would go ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. It's so much more controlled, and I have more tension involved in the act of controlling the dive stop. So. That is a key component, and basically Dime Stops teaches you the philosophy of tension versus relaxation. Every good dancer should have the ability to, be, to transition between tension and relaxation effortlessly. If you're grooving and you're dancing, you're relaxed, but when you add that Dime Stop, you slightly tense to create that stop. Okay, And you want to make sure that you don't have any drag. And when I say drag, I mean when you stop, parts of your body unconsciously drag back and forth, or you know, one of your moves slightly moves, or one of your arms slightly move, or like you're slightly kind of melting out of it due to unconscious movement. So you always want to be super sharp with your stops. If I tell you to dime stop here, here, I don't want to see this and that. Okay? It has to be click. Click, 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 click. Not click, click, click. None of those bounciness. And that will happen if you're not truly tensed and not fully in control of your body. Your body will unconsciously do a little, uh, 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 a little back and forth thing. So always make sure that. Always be on top of it and be sure to be very meticulous when it comes to how clean you stop. So that is the concepts of dime stops. This is part one, and I hope this helped open your mind and give you some dying stoppage in your life. Peace and many blessings. All right, part two of dime stopping tutorial. Here are some drills for you to practice in your own training that will help increase your dime stop technique throughout your whole body. So this one is a traditional exercise we do in popping style a lot. It's called the body clock. And what you do is take both arms and this is up one here, then two would be here, three would be there, and then four would be straight arms. Boom. Five, six, seven, and then eight. And then you go back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So you want to stay tense when you do it. And not like super tense like you're trying to shake tense. Just keep your muscles locked. 
Keep them, boom. Keep your muscles locked, keep them uh, flexed. By keeping the muscles flexed and tensed, that will help the stop be sharper. So we keep the muscles tensed throughout the whole time, slightly flexed. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go down. One, two, three, straight. Four, then five, six, seven, eight. We go forward now. One, two, three, four, straight. Five, six, seven, eight, and down. One, two, three, four. That's just one way to do it. Once you get that speed down, we're gonna speed it up and go double time. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, straight, four. Five, six, seven, eight, down. One, two, three, straight, four. Five, six, seven, eight, up. One, two, three, four, up. Five, six, seven, eight, down. One, two, three, four. Yes. Then we do double, double time. This is help you level up to the next level and make sure that you are practicing to not have the drag in between. Every time you move one position, it is completely there. It never goes like that. So the double, double time would go as follows. One and two and three and four. Five, six, seven, and go. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. When you do the double, double time, you can also double up how many movements you have in between of things. For example, if I was going up here, I could do eight movements. For example, it would go one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight, down one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight, four. We go one and two and three and four, out five and six and seven and eight, down one and two and three and four. Good. So that's the body clock. Repeat the exercise, and I would love for you to demonstrate it for me, doing the same thing and seeing how sharp your technique is. So that's part one of the dime stop drills. We're going to go into part two, and this is the body dime stop, okay? And this one goes as follows. So you're going to have your feet wide, and on this one, we're going to move our core and shift the four corners. So technically, you are exercising your leg strength and your core tension flexibility, okay? So we're going to start in the upper corner over here, and we're going to go this way, and we're going to go four times each way. For example, we go one, two, three, four, down, five, six, seven, eight to the right, one, two, three, four, up. Five, six, seven, eight again. One, two, three, four, down. Five, six, seven, eight, right. One, two, three, four, up. Five, six, seven, eight, reverse. One, two, three, four, left. Five, six, seven, eight, up, one, two, three, four, to the right, five, six, seven, eight. Good, so that's the body dime stop technique. The next level would be to double time it a little faster, starting from the upper right, five, six, seven, go, one, two, three, four, down, five, six, seven, eight, right, one, two, three, four, up, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, down, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So in that technique, my legs are very tense. My core is slightly tense. My head and my neck are tense too because when you do these ones, you want to be careful not to have this going on. Notice how I'm having a kind of too much moving. Everything must be still. Everything must be controlled. Okay? Third level would be to amplify the amount of movements between. So we're going to do eight in between each one. And it would go double, double time. And it would go as follows. Five and six. Five and six and seven and go. One and two and three and four and five and... No, it wouldn't go like that. <laughs> It would just go one and two and three and four down five and six and seven and eight right one and two and four five and six and seven and eight again one and two and three and four five and six and seven and eight one and two and three and four five and six and seven reverse one two and three and four five and six and seven and eight one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Good. That is your body dime stop drill. Practice that, be able to replicate it. Show me how you do. And we'll see how clean it is and polish it up. Look at the parts where you're most weakest. All right, number three, the third drill is a dancing moving drill. So you're gonna be freestyling in between it. And the idea is a stop and go, really simple exercise. But the challenge is seeing how good you can stop in between your dance movements. So I encourage you to freestyle during this time. It's all freestyle except when you time your stops. So the first pattern is going to be an eight count of freestyle dancing with an eight count of frozen in space. We do two of those, one eight moving, one eight frozen, one eight moving, another eight frozen, and then we go down to four. You do one, uh, one four moving, and then four counts frozen, four counts moving, four counts frozen, and then we go to two counts moving, two counts frozen, two counts moving, two counts frozen, then we go down to one count moving, one frozen, one move, one froze. For example, we're gonna do it, and I'm gonna count you out. So we go five, six, Seven and dance. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven times stop. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Now dance. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and stop. One and two and three and four. Now we're gonna go to the four count. Go. One and two and three and stop. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and stop. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and stop. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and stop. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we go to two. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, stop. Seven, eight. One, stop. Three, four, five, stop. Seven, eight. One, stop. Three, four, five, stop, seven, eight, one, stop, three, four, five, stop, seven, eight. Then we go to one, five, six, seven, eight, one, stop, two, stop, three, stop, four, stop, five, stop, six, stop, seven, stop, eight, stop, one, stop, two, stop, three, stop, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And that's the one. Then, if you want to go and do a bonus exercise, if you like, you can do one and two and three and four. And now, when you start moving on the ands, this is where it gets into ticking style. So dime stop and ticking are very interrelated. Ticking is basically dime stopping much more intricately and faster with much more stops in between. So we're going to add the one and two and three and four, and it will go as follows: five, six, 
seven, eight, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. All right, and there you have it. Your dive sub drills. I'd like for you to replicate those. Show me how you do. Time yourself and be your own best judge, be your own best critique. Record yourself doing it. It's a lot better to record yourself to do it rather than looking at yourself in the mirror and doing it. That way you can get yourself into a get into the zone while you do it. Let the camera capture you. Then go back and review it and make sure you look at those fine details and find out where you're still creating drag. That's what you want to avoid. Granted, it looks cool sometimes, but when it comes to dime stopping, you want to create a perfect stop. So I'm relaxed in between. On the stop, I tense. Relax. Tense. Relaxed. Tense. Relaxed. Tense. Relaxed. Tensed. Good. Hit me up if you have any questions. And this is a dime stop video. Peace, many blessings, and happy dime stops.